to find the velocity and uh, oscillation of simple learning oscillation and just use you know uh, for a simple learning oscillation y equals to a sin omega t plus delta we can take also y equals to a cos omega t plus or minus delta these are similar just difference with a phase difference by v2 so taking y equals to a sin omega t plus delta the velocity equals to dy dt equals to a omega cos omega t plus delta so this is the velocity again it can be converted as a omega sin omega t equals to you know sin omega t plus delta equals to y by a so cos omega t plus delta equals to root over 1 minus sin square uh, omega t plus delta that is y square by a square so just putting this value in this equation we get v equals to a omega root over 1 minus y square by a square So from this we can say that when y equals to a where a is the maximum a is a equals to y maximum then when y equals to a then we get this is 1 v is equals to 0 and when y equals to 0 v gives a omega that is maximum velocity this is also maximum velocity or physically you can see that if this is a pendulum and we take an y equals to a sin omega t plus delta means if delta is 0 then if it delta is 0 and we have taken y equals to a sin omega t plus delta then oscillation comes from the this position this is the origin this is the starting point so when it comes to y equals to a this is a then the velocity is 0 and when it comes to this point again this is velocity maximum that is a omega at this point similarly we can uh, find the acceleration equals to d symbolically take acceleration f equals to dv dt that is ddt of a omega cos omega t plus delta this means minus a omega square sin omega t plus delta that is minus a omega square y so this is the acceleration so when when Oh, y. when y equals to a then f give minus a omega square equals to a maximum acceleration and when y equals to 0 then acceleration also gives 0 that is minimum f minimum and physically we can see that when and the pendulum start oscillate from this point then when it comes to reach an extreme point y gets to a then there should be a restoring force or restoring acceleration is minus a omega square and when it comes to this point this gives this gives the, at this starting point it comes to with zero acceleration because y equals to zero at y equals to zero a equals to zero.